<clears throat> Hello, my name is Sabina Tsikli from the University of Padras, and I will present you our work on the ages of supernova remnants and their associated pulsars in collaboration with Georgios Achilopoulos, Lydia Constantinou, and Constantinos Gurguliatos. Studies of the past decades on X-rays and radio waves have revealed a growing diversity of neutron stars with respect to their magnetic field, initial period, and spin-down ages. The dipole magnetic field model assumes that the properties of a neutron star, such as the strength of the magnetic field and its moment of inertia, do not change with time, while the initial pe spin period is much smaller than the observed current period. These assumptions lead to a breaking index of n equals 3. This results in inconsistency between the characteristic age tau c of the pulsar and the age estimated with other methods, such as the age of the supernova remnant hosting the neutron star. Since these ages are not in agreement, we explore possible resolutions to this issue caused by changes in the strength of the magnetic field. In our research, we studied the SNR catalog that contains 380 SNRs. Out of those, 62 are associated to pulsars and have a well-defined age. We compare these ages against the spin-down ages of the associated neutron stars, taking from the ADNF catalog for the majority of radio pulsars and the McGill catalog for magnetars as well. We assume that the true age is close to the shell age of the supernova remnant. For our analysis, we assume that all the pulsar's properties, such as moment of inertia and radius, do not change with time, except for the magnetic field, and we postulate a linear dependency of the magnetic field on time. In this equation, we include a constant Cb, which represents the fractional change in the neutron star magnetic field strength from, from the pulsar's birth till today. Bo is today's magnetic field value. Inserting this equation to the spin down torque equation, we found a relation between the current values P, P dot, and tau SNR for the constant CB. We then compile a second catalog with 22 pulsars that only have CB values between minus 1 to 1, as we have assumed a linear model and larger variations would require a more sophisticated one. In other words, we have to take into account more terms of the Taylor series in order to find all CB values. Here, we present our results. Firstly, the PP dot plot. We can see that the distribution of the pulsars in our sample consists of normal radio pulsars, CCOs, AXPs, and SGRs. Secondly, we studied correlations of the CP with other pulsar pa parameters, such as the magnetic field strength, the supernova remnant age, and the pulsar characteristic age. In these diagrams, we estimate the p-value and the Pearson correlation coefficient r. There is no statistically significant correlation of the field's rate of change with either the characteristic or the true age of the pulsar. However, we know that there is a statistically significant correlation with the magnetic field strength. In particular, pulsars with magnetic fields stronger than 10 to the 12.5 Gauss tend to have a positive CB, whereas pulsars with magnetic field weaker than 10 to the 12.5 Gauss have in general a negative CB. This possibly implies that the former have undergone a stage where their fields increased, whereas the latter have passed a stage where their fields have decreased. In conclusion, we made the following proposals. After comparing the characteristic and spin down age, we, find out, we found out that the magnetodipole spin down gives ages that are typically orders of magnitude different from the SNR age. In our work, we propose that this deviation can be related to magnetic field evolution. We also found out that there is no significant correlation between the SNR age and the magnetic field variation. However, we found a significant correlation between the magnetic field strength and the variation rate. This possibly implies that strongly magnetized neutron stars have undergone a growth phase. Finally, in our future work, we would like to explore a nonlinear evolution model and the variability of other quantities, such as moment of inertia or a different initial period. Thank you for your time.